So guys, uh, we talked earlier this week about how pesky a team Brown is. Tonight, it seemed like right after that first media timeout, Ben, you, a switch went off with you guys. You just took control of this game and yeah, didn't let up. I mean, how good do you feel about that, the way this team played tonight against Brown? Yeah, I think uh, for the most part, we pretty much played a complete 60. But uh, all four lines and all 7D were playing, and obviously Shop is kicking. So, um, you know, we put an emphasis on everybody showing up every night, and I really thought that's what happened tonight. Ian, your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, obviously, I think there's some areas we can clean up, but uh, overall, I thought it was a solid game, and we can take that into next weekend and, and roll with the momentum. Let's talk about your first goal there. I mean, Josh Nixon, you know, does some nice work to get the puck, get the shot off, and the rebound's just sitting there. You know, talk about that play. Yeah, actually, he uh, it was just a really nice pass from him. He got the rebound and then okay. was able to find me back there, so that was a really good play from him. I had to, I had to tap it. So. Yeah. And how big was that goal to you know, start to set the tone? Ah, uh, yeah, it's always important in the first one, so uh, glad we clicked it down. DJ, um, your shorthanded goal, yeah, that was a big one. Uh, not, not only for you personally, being your first career college goal, but you know, really puts Brown on the heels at that point. What did you see on that play? Um, honestly, we, we just do our thing on the on the PK, and uh, Lenny always talks about it. The um, just the things we do create the opportunities. So saw him with the puck or the goal in, and thought maybe I'd take a step down, and he ended up making a awesome pass to me and I just put the puck in the back of that. Like you said, it's it's the guy who made the pass that uh, created the whole play. So Yeah, Billy had the, the breakaway right before, like seconds yeah. before that got stopped there. But I mean, how important was it for him to you know keep on the play? Because he got, he, got he got the puck in the back, in the back uh, behind the net there to set you up. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's it's super important. We, we love pressuring and, and that's something that's a huge part of our penalty kill. So he was just doing his job and good things happen when everybody does their job. Jazz, for you going, this is back straight games now. You've scored a goal in the. Do you feel you're on fire right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a fun five yeah, games for sure, but um, we're just working well together out there uh, with my line and it's working out. Talk about the goal for me. I, you know, Liam strips the Brown player of the puck there at the uh, Union Blue Line. You head up. Tyler's on your right side there. Uh, what did you see? It was just kind of a broken play coming out of the zone, and they kind of sagged back entering the zone, so I just. Wanted to use the other the defender as a screen, and that worked out. Yeah. Goalie didn't see it, so. Uh, how how important is it to shoot there? Because you know, sometimes there's always that temptation to, to just look at your uh, when you're on the right side there, maybe pass this out for it. Was it to uh, shoot that puck? Yeah, coming into the game, we had an emphasis on getting pucks in that and crashing hard, so that was kind of the mindset on that rush. And coming less than three minutes after the uh, DJ's goal, I mean, that, that was big too. Yeah, just riding off the momentum, mess of crowd was buzzing, so it was great. Uh, ben, you come out of the penalty box and you put the dagger in Brown there. I mean, how important was that goal to make it 4 nothing? Uh Yeah, I mean, it was a great play just coming off a uh, 4-on-4. Four four. I saw Kells kind of, um, you know, holding a couple guys off, going behind the net, and thought I'd have an opportunity in the slot. And, um, yeah, he made an awesome one-handed pass there, so all the credit to him. Yeah. And, Caden, that goal, yeah, even and again, uh, another nice setup. You yeah, took the face off win. What did, what did you see there? Uh, didn't really see much. Just shot it. I mean, how big was that face-off lane? Was it, was it clean? <laughs> yeah, it was clean. He tied the guy up and gave me the opportunity to get that shot off. So, credit to him. Uh, for you, Kyle, you know, the shot, you know, maybe get lost in the shuffle of the 6 nothing game. But uh, uh, Josh was saying you made some saves early on to keep this team in the game. I mean, but they only had let me you know, there at the end of the second period. They had some chances to shoot that puck, and they didn't want to shoot it. So, was there a mindset there from that? You, do you think that they were a little afraid to shoot the puck? Uh, I, I'm not really sure. I mean, I, I just, it's not really up to me. I think I just have to do my job and, and take one shot at a time and whatever they shoot at me, that's, that's what I have to stop. So how important is when you, know, as, the, as the league goes up three, four, five, how important is it for you to keep your focus and, you know, I mean, you probably in the back of your mind, you want the shot up, but you just still, still want to you know, play well and at least you know, keep them off the board. So how important is it to you know, keep your mind sharp? Yeah, no, it's, it's huge. I mean, I think going back to, to before, I think it's just about taking one shot at a time, and, and um, I like to take the game into like five-minute segments and, and break it down like that, and not think about like the results are too far ahead. Well, this was the second largest shutout in postseason Union One Division One history, only topped by the seven nothing one uh, against Cornell in 2015. So, we, how, yeah, how, how, how happy are you with the way the team performed this Friday? How happy with you were you with your play? Yeah, no, the team was great tonight. I thought you know we we really did play like a complete game. We Worked hard. Um, I thought defensively we were great, and they made my life a lot easy, a lot easier. So, um, like, I, I think that's that's huge in our team. Ben, how important is it to take this 
game tonight and apply it to next weekend when you go to the quarterfinals. Uh, I mean, at, at this time, we don't know the opponent is either going to be Colgate or Jarvis, but how important is it? You have to go on the road now. How important is it to, you know, play this game again uh, next weekend and try to you know, go to Lake Placid? Yeah, I think uh, just like over the course of the season, it's been kind of a progression for our group. I think the belief has gotten stronger and stronger as years gone on. And um, I feel like right now we're playing some of our best hockey, which was uh, shown tonight. So, um, you know, in our mind, we're not really too concerned about who our opponent is next weekend. Just kind of focus on ourselves and, and playing the game that we feel we can. Are you hoping to get the hat trick there on the power play? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I was just hoping that, you know, one of the games.